App switcher. Clo activate default. Creatures such as play, restart, play, button, play. No, text field, link, no, restore purchases, no, thanks. I'll wait through the ads. Strolling through the final, 0%, think you can do better? Prove IT. 0%, image, whole, voodoo, ha, image, and degrees 1, arcade. Open, but, close inter, close interstitial ad, button. Home, back, but, creature, strolling through the final airlock, you feel satisfied that the facilities in order, the spacesuits are starched, the moon rocks are neatly arranged, and you personally check that every stage room is in perfect condition. Twice. Tomorrow's going to go great, and you're finally off the clock. You look back one last time anyway. Time between tourist days always make you nervous. It feels difficult justifying your non-existent workload while everyone else still has regular maintenance duties. Compounding the lull in responsibilities has been the temptation of finishing the final level of creatures such as we. Will you wipe out the last of the tradition? You wish life was that simple. Next, text field. Next, button. You wash your face with astringent and brush your teeth with the smallest dab of toothpaste, rinsing with as little water as you can spare. It's so much work, so much sacrifice, living up on the moon. Living anywhere, really. Life is hard, and it's nice to play a story where it's not. Where everything is simple and easy. It's calming, reassuring. Makes all the sacrifice, all the strife feel worthwhile. You set your walkie-talkie down on a nearby drawer, and lean back against the chair backing at the foot of your bed. You close your eyes as... Creatures. Boots up. The loading music alone just melts the mundane away. It's delicious. Your ashen undead avatar walks towards the ruble as your ghost companion elegy scouts ahead. These ruins are all that's left of your former base, a casualty to the crusade of traditionalists and internal treachery. Elegy perks at something, then flits back and enters your body. The screen sparkles blue and the GUI updates as your powers mingle. Thanks to heightened senses, you are now aware of the nearby guns, radio button, checked, one of four. Your ashen undead avatar walks towards the ruble as your ghost companion elegy scouts ahead. These ruins are all that's left of your former base, a casualty to the crusade of traditionalists and internal treachery. Elegy perks at something, then flits back and enters your body. The screen sparkles blue and the GUI updates as your powers mingle. Thanks to height, your ash undead guns, stealth, biting and stealth melee. Biting and clawing, radio button, unch, channel ghost powers, radio button, unchecked. Next, button. Elegy delights in helping channel ethereal power into flaming balls of energy, which your avatar flings at the guard. She slams against a wall and crumples. An alarm sounds. They know you're here. You progress through the compound, dispatching more and more guards. You pass piles of undead corpses and ectoplasmic ash, evidence of their cruel conquer. You will make sure this never happens again. Your mastery of the controls is an unstoppable force that leaves none alive. And then, in a flurry of magically enhanced efficiency, you are there, the command center. The final boss chamber. Your avatar's arrival interrupts a woman who is tapping away at a console from behind her personal glass glass shield. She turns to you as you enter, to give the speech and you smirk in preparation. I, I am sorry, so sorry for the what you have become. I should have been better, I should have been stronger about stopping it. I failed you, you're given options on how to respond. Just attack. Radio, taunt her, radio button, ask for sympathy, radio button, offer to talk things out, radio button, unchecked, for a Offer to join her, radio button, next, button. Loras turns to you. You know what is happening. Turn yourself over, allow yourself to be destroyed, and I will turn this off. The ghost will be saved from eternal dissolution. Turn yourself over, radio button, checked, one of three. Attack Loras, radio button, attack the equipment, next, button. Elegy has saved you from death countless times, it's the right thing to do. Plus, you're pretty sure that if you take the route of self-sacrifice on behalf of your ghost, you'll get a more romantically fulfilling ending. Your character allows two monstrous guards to cage you, and as she dutifully turns off the device, Loras turns with a cruel grin back to you. Thank you for making the right decision. But, betrayal. Elegy betrayed everyone, for you. Why did you do it? Radio button, checked, one of six. I'm sorry it had to end like that. Why did you do it? Radio button. I'm sorry it had- You shouldn't have done it. Why did you do it? I'm s- I'm sorry it had- You shouldn't have done it. I forgive you. I can't forgive you. Fuck you, ghost. Next, but- Fuck you, ghost. Fuck you, ghost. Checked. Next, button. Your avatar thrashes against the Zerubers guards to put enough volume and force behind the words, but then the camera pans out and the audio fades. Something is wrong. The camera immediately zooms back in on Elegy, still vibrating, more furiously than ever. Is it Loras leans towards it incredulously? A bright flash. Time warps to a near stop. For a brief moment, Elegy solidifies into a human shape and turns to your character. A sad, pale blue figure, it mouths. Sorry. And then closes its eyes. Time snaps back, and your companion condenses into a miniature black hole. Or at least, that's what the pulsing energy sphere pulling everything into itself reminds you of. Your avatar's body ragdolls against the side of the cage. The guards are sucked in. Loras is pulled towards it, but she has the fortitude to grab some nearby pipes and scream. But even the words are pulled into the void as the camera wipes to darkness. Over the darkness, with accompanying flash forwards, your character narrates aloud what will happen next, they'll give me an award for this. They'll rebuild, put me in charge out of pity. But it won't mean anything. It won't mean anything without Elegy. I just wish I wish I could go back and redo it all. A cut- Wait, what? They can't have killed Elegy, just like that. You must have done something wrong. Something preventable. You've been a fan of the Collected Game Studio for a while now, and you've never- I should have been better at combat, radio button. I should have sent Elegy away, radio button, unchecked, two of four. I didn't say the right thing, it was not preventable, next, button. There were several places where you could send Elegy away, that might have been it. Maybe Elegy can only be saved if you switch the game to hard mode without the assistance of ghost powers. Of course, there might be some sort of affection threshold, before or after which Elegy refuses to go away. Or Elegy might just refuse no matter what you do. 
you'll find the way to fix it. You've unlocked story mode, which you're more and more certain is a sign that replay towards the good ending is encouraged. You power down the device and push the computer back up against the wall. You get into the covers and turn it over in your head more. Maybe this internal conflict is the response that the designers wanted, but it doesn't sleep until tomorrow button. You wake up and unstrap yourself from the bed before stumble bouncing into the small bathroom. Your stomach is still in knots over that ending. It was a total existential punch in the gut, and now you're supposed to go out there and wow a bunch of snot-nosed tourists. You moan and stare into a mirror, really looking at yourself. Is this who you really are? A young, radio button, checked, one of five, a thirty-something, radio, a young, radio button. A third, a middle-aged, ri- an older, a near retirement, next, button. Next. Other region, radio button, multinational, r- Europe, North American, southern slash central Amer- southern slash central Af- northern African, middle eastern, r- west Asian, east Asian, r- creatures, home, back button, creatures such as we, heading, next, button. Next. Other gender, radio button, person, radio button, trans woman, person, radio button. Other, next, button. At this point in your life, you didn't think you'd be playing glorified tour guide, you saw into the mirror. New clients today, which is always a stressful unknown. You passingly wonder if you have time to go through character creation and creatures. But decide better of, as you lather up, you can't help but dwell on the ending of the game. It just seems so sudden, so without resolution. It's frustrating. You play games to have, they thought it was the most dramatic, radio button, checked, one of four. As you, they thought it was the most dramatic, radio button, checked, one of four. It was a comment on that's inevitable, they want, I could have beat, next, button. They wanted to make a game that would stick with you, that would keep you thinking about it, dwelling on it. They intentionally wanted to cause you turmoil, to make you in- You rinse yourself off and step out to air dry in the warmth of the heater, still turning the ending over in your mind. Someone set out to make a game that was intentionally designed They should have written a better ending, radio button, checked, one of four. They should have balanced combat, although, and maybe you'll get- Next, button, text feed, next, button. I mean, there are endings that are meaningful and then there are endings that feel satisfying. And attempting to go for the meaningful ending, but it doesn't make for a good ending. Not when you get personally invested in the characters. Well, there must be a way to make it better. It will go better next time. You shake yourself out of the introspection and focus on the here and now, getting ready. It just seems so mundane. Doing the same thing day after day just to stay in place. Bending yourself over backwards for this endless stream of disaffected tourists. Does it really matter? Well, of course it matters. You glance over at the makeup box. As director of activities, the company prioritizes materials that make you look more professional. It's a privilege that many of your co- No makeup, radio button, checked, one of five. Natural tones, radio button, unchecked, two of five. Ex- ex- extra flare, next, button. It always feels a bit like doing art restoration. Just minor concealer to hide the flaws, highlights to emphasize the features that work. Minor shifts in emphasis, but nothing too gaudy. The kinds of- You look at yourself one last time in the mirror. You smile. Seeing yourself so put together helps reassure you. You're doing pretty well with your life when it comes down to it. Maybe you're not doing what you originally wanted, but your job's important to you. And you're good at it. One of the best. Time to shine, button. You- Time to shine, button. You meet with a few stewards at the docking bay. They shy away from you, as always, but at least they still nod to acknowledge your presence. The facility shakes as the shuttle lands. Right on schedule, it's nice when there aren't any delays. The interior door starts its opening sequence. At the final click, you switch on that interstellar smile just in time to meet six new guests. There's something that feels familiar about them, but you can't quite place it. You launch into the prepared intro. I hope you are all ready for a fantastic week of leaving the mundane worries of Terran life behind. You are all now official astronauts, explorers, moonwalkers. Welcome to Space Joys Moon Base 14. You gesture about the passageways of the facility before upping your chipper for the exciting paperwork announcement. IDs out, please. I'll need to check everyone in. Also, I am authorized to stamp your passports, if you would like. You step to a nearby podium and the tourists start shambling towards it. You scan the passenger list, and your breath halts. They're the designers. The designers of creatures such as we. Also, flesh weavers, comma, soul traffic, and ether wind, the backbone of collected games. The people, creatures, at l- actually, they've been cool in the past, and they'll do better again in the future. Radio button, unchecked, two of four. That you're actually still, next, button. You swipe through the list with one hand while you examine his ID in the other. You check his facial features against the ID. He responds to the examination by smirking into the exact chiseled print pictured on his ID. Hazel eyes with darker skin. I like tight schedules. Radio button, checked. You have to be efficient up here. Radio, glad to have you aboard. Radio button, unchecked. In your head, unlike some companies, radio button, unchecked. Next, button. Andres chills his smirk into a more modest grin. Yeah, glad to be here too. I'm really looking forward to it. Well, get shop time. He peers in through the passageway entrance, shouting back to the rest of the group. Hey, check it out. The original microtransaction model. It elicits a few chuckles, but they all seem a bit tired out. He hangs back at the entrance, waiting for the rest of the group to get checked in. The woman behind him sidles up to your right side. She has a bony, long face, with even longer, straight black hair. She looks over at your check-in tablet, sighs, then clicks her tongue in disapproval. You pause your finger over her name on the list and look up at her. She backs off immediately. Oh, I sorry. It's not you. I just did some work on the back end of that program, and you see that drop down. Well, I still don't think the GUI editors quite represented the functionality right. What do you think they got wrong with it? Radio button, checked, one of four. It's always tough handing off work. Radio button, glad to have you aboard. Radio, it must be frustrating, glad to have you aboard. Glad, it, next, button. She blushes again, bobbing pleasantly. Oh yes, well, I am glad to be here. 
Andrex leans against the wall. She's a great perfectionist, really has an eye for that sort of thing. I'm lucky to know her. And what a math whiz. He waves her over and points towards the gift shop. She joins him and looks in. Hmm, interesting layout. An expensive centerpiece surrounded by the cheapest object in the shop. Must trigger a lot of impulse purchases. She trails off as the two of them step inside and get wrapped up in window shopping. A younger man steps forward and tilts his head into a sweetly disarming grin. He has a wiry frame and a smooth face. You can't cop to a sucky job. Well, you can, but you really shouldn't to a guest. It has its perks. Radio Bud, it's definitely a great place to visit. It has its perks. It's def- glad to have you hope. It's def- it's definitely a great place to visit. Radio Glad- yeah, next, button. He nods his head and crinkles his mouth in a suppressed laugh. I get what you're saying. He starts to step away, then turns back to you. Hey, by the way, do most people usually jump around right away, or do they wait until they're alone? I'm- An older woman approaches the podium next, first hair salted with grays, and a pale face without any makeup. Her dreamy smile evaporates into embarrassment. She doesn't have her ID out. She pats over her suit in a panic, and then backs off, waving ahead the next woman in line. Unfortunately, that lady is wrapped up in an electronic device, completely oblivious to the awkwardness unfolding in front. The woman finally finds her ID. Sorry, she grins sheepishly, I was just thinking about what sorts of ghosts might be found in a place like this, and got- I've often wondered what sorts of ghosts might be here myself. Red, you'll have- glad to have you aboard, you'll have to tell me their stories. Glad to have you aboard. Yeah, go sorry, next, button. She smiles pleasantly at you, but her mind is already wandering. She tilts her head, fixating on something inside the gift shop, and moves around the podium in a path that does not match her gears. You amaze at the fact that she doesn't bump or trip on anything. James attempts to wave her down, but she doesn't notice and enters the gift shop. James shrugs and then follows after her. Hey, Diana, how do you like some armor made of moon? His voice trails off. The next woman is shorter and somewhat heavy set. I'd be honored. Radio button, checked, one of four. Only a glad to have you aboard. Wouldn't that distract you from next button? She looks you over, then smiles by closing her eyes. Fantastic, she adds before stepping aside. As he's he le you almost feel bad for the man as you both point to your name text field. Next, text, you almost feel bad for the man as you both point to your name tag and say your first name aloud. Text field. Double tap to text field is editing. Insertion point at end. Characters. Next, text field is editing. Elizabeth, character, next, button. His eyes flutter as what you say seems to barely even register. Elizabeth, did, did I get that right? His sweating intensifies. He must be really nervous around people. But it's your job to smile and accommodate. Yes, that's right. Radio button, checked, one of four. Polite, yes, good, politely correct him, radio button, unchecked, two, yes, good job reading what it says. Rudely correct him, radio button, next, button. But by now he's lost his ability to focus on words. He staggers a few steps, then vomits a slurry of liquid. Much of it splashes onto the floor, but a good amount stains the expensive, company-owned shovel suit. He compounds the stains by wiping his chin on the sleeve. The other guests drop their banter and stare at him, horrified. You glare at one of the stewards, who then drops what he was unloading to get some cleaning supplies. You turn your attention back to the sick man. Well, that he clearly needs someone to escort him to the med bay. He continues retching, now spitting out clear liquid in street, but by now he's lost his ability to focus on words. He staggers a few steps, then vomits a slurry of liquid. Much of it splashes onto the floor, but a good amount stains the expensive, company-owned shovel suit. He compounds the stains by wiping his chin on the sleeve. The other guests drop their banter and stare at him, horrified. You glare at one of the stewards, who then drops what he was unloading to get some cleaning supplies. You turn your attention back to the sick man. Well, that explains that. This is not exactly the smooth check-in that you were hoping for. He continues retching, now spitting out clear liquid and streaming apologies between gasping breaths. He clearly needs someone to escort him to the med bay, but it'll also take some professional charisma to lift the gloom this incident will impart on the rest of the group. You take the immediate action of notifying the medical staff with your walkie-talkie, but now it's time to deal with the disaster directly. You weigh options, send him with the remaining steward, or escort him yourself. Escort the sick man, radio button, checked, one of two. Smooth things over with the main group, radio button, uh, next, button, smooth things over with the main group, smooth things over, next, button. It's your job to deal with making sure that all the guests are comfortable, and there's nothing more discomforting than witnessing another person's distress. As another steward escorts Grant off, you address the group, while rare, it can happen that some people get an upset stomach on the trip over. It's definitely not the most fun way to start out a vacation, but we have the best medical facilities that money can bring over. I'll catch him up on the amenities later. Your faint lightness is good enough to fool them, you're met with nothing more insidious than disaffected stares. Really? Standard introduction, radio button, checked, one of four. Sign, brooding, romantic introduction, brooding introduction, radio, romantic, next, button. Next, you point, your mile returns, next, your mile, creatures such as we, had, your mile returns, then slowly cement as you revert into your memorized speech, when the first person set foot on the moon, they knew it was the beginning of a new era, of a deeper connection with the rest of the universe. For the next few days, you will have a chance to recreate that. You will have the chance to see space as never before. The pre-rehearsed tone hopefully assures them that things are going according to plan. Next, you point to the next, you point to the gift shop, trying not to cringe at having to deliver Space Joy's mandatory money spiel. Most of you have already had a chance to check it out, but you can find pieces of the trip that you can make until your own personal reminder of your time here. For convenience, all the items in there are display only. You'll be able to pick up any purchases when you return Earthside. Even moon dust. You wink. Diana yawns while Sadri whispers to Andres about something from the shop. Ran tilts her game system at a strange angle as she taps and swipes at it. You relax a bit. They're fine. You just need to get through the rest of the tour. 
Technically, the first room you visit would be the med bay, but you know better than to follow on the tail of the sick guy. Where should you show them around instead? Common rooms, radio button, checked. Recreational activity rooms, common room, recre their state rooms, radio button, unchecked. Three of four, recre recreational activity room, common rooms, recreational activity, common rooms, radio button. Check. Their state rooms, ra end the tour early, radio button, un next button. Andres abandons his pacing to throw in his opinion, I'd rather hope they should be a little more durable than that. He looks at you somewhat nervously, then presses you, they are more durable than that, right? She shrugs her shoulders coldly, how often do things go exactly as they should? We do have some distress suits, I can show you later. Radio button, checked, one of four. What are you interested in the suits for? Radio button, we put a lot of effort into your safety here. Radio button, unchecked, three of four, lie, we've never had the kind of accident that would rip a suit. Radio, we put a lot of effort into your safety here, lie, next, button. Diana's eyes light up, oh, you're the best. I'm really curious to hear how those suits can go wrong. Andres, recreational activity rooms, radio, common, you get the attention of the group, Diana nods placatingly, you get the attention of the group, well, shall we continue? Common rooms, dimmed, radio button, recreational activity rooms, radio button, Ch there's, end, next, button. You lead them past the closed airlocks, this creature, you lead them past the closed airlocks, describing the fun activities that will take place under space, your supervision, the gym and pool room, which will be filled with water by tomorrow, and the moonwalk prep room. You gesture to a window that shows off the brightly lit moonwalk area, and you take a break to let them crowd around and get their first real glimpse at a truly alien surface. It's a moment most tourists really get absorbed in, and almost everyone in your group coughs out with appropriately enraptured expressions. Ren, however, scowls at the view, I never realized that the dust was so reflective. There's no way you could make that lighting look good. She returns to- Sadri jams her hair behind her ears in determination as she turns to Ren, I think that, well, technology makes up for what we can't do ourselves. Ren gives a wry smile, yes, but how exactly does that happen? She turns to you, you must take photographs, I'm impressed that you noticed the glare. Radio button, checked, one, we treat it like snow, the conditions are similar. Ray, we run all shots through post-processing programs. We take two shots with different settings and merge the two. Radio button. Next button. Sadri points out the window, you see? This place, it feels so exotic, so different. But it's nothing technology, human advancement, can't solve. It all breaks down just the same. Ren seems unimpressed, except that means there's no way to recreate the reality. Most people will see and imagine it as some idealized place, compatible with human existence. But it's not, in every way. You can't even see here properly. Sadri rolls her eyes, well, so what? We're here anyway, thanks to technology that adapts it to work for us. Just figure out a way to make it work. Ren shrugs and presses her face back against the glass, while the rest of the tourists seem to have lost their interest in MB and gawking. Time to move on. You get the attention of the group, well, shall we continue? Common rooms, dimmed, recreational activity rooms, dimmed, R their state rooms, radio button, check. Ch end the tour, next, button. You show them each to their individual rooms. The quarters are pretty tight, but you're still proud to let them know that they each have their own private bathroom. Everyone pokes around their rooms, but James pops back out almost immediately and inundates you with questions. I'm really curious how this is all feasible, how do you get supplies like food and water? How about the unwaste? And, he bounces a bit in place, I'm sure you get lots of people bugging you about stuff like this, but I don't see how it's at all practical. Answer everything truthfully, radio button, checked, one of four. Answer truthfully, blossing oh, dodge the personal questions, radio button, dodge everything, radio, next, button. You smile and take a deep breath, well we get regular shipments of food, and grow or synthesize our own. We recycle the waste through bacteria, plant, and bottom feeder farms. A few of the walls between rooms are retractable, allowing beds to join together and double room size. You take a break for air. He tilts his head, and what about you? What's your story? You hold up a finger of patience, and as for me, I'm up here for three more years until I hit my five-year anniversary and get retired out. He whistles, whoa. Five years. You have to chipper to get everyone's attention, I'm sure you're all hungry, so let's have some real space food, hmm? You usher them into the brightly lit dining hall, and then dramatically reach for a nearby switch, normally, we keep this lit with only minimal accent lights. You'll see why in a second. You flip the lights off, and, on cue, they all gasp at the glass ceiling above. In the darkness, the universe is beautifully lit unlike anything you can see on Earth. They remain fixated on the spectacle for well over a minute. This is the first group you've had in a while to actually take the time to appreciate and enjoy the amazing view. You even get swept up yourself, wiping away a tear. Just when you thought you'd gotten used to it all, the sheer beauty of the universe teases out from lunchtime button. Four minutes, text field, st four minutes, 58 seconds, seconds remain, restore purchases, link, four, text, four minutes, four minutes, restore purchase, if you, buy, or, you can buy, exclamation mark, creatures such as, come back in a, creature, exclamation mark, or, you can buy the game now to skip the wait. Facebook, now, app switcher, close, activate, def, creatures such as we, creatures such, come, creatures such as we, exclamation, or, buy it, if you, restore, four minutes, third, text field, st state, state of survival, state of survival, zombie war, image. 4 minutes, restore purchases. If you've already purchased, click here, buy it now for $6, or, you can buy, exclamation mark. Creatures such as we, exclamation mark. Or, you can buy the game now to skip the wait. Buy it now for $6.99, button. If you've already purchased, click here to, restore, 4 minute text field, state of survival, zombie war, image. App switcher. Close creatures such, mail, no unread emails, page 2 of 3, it picks, you to enter, mute, game, game, games folder, 100, opening games folder. Page 1 of 4, page 2, page 3, page 4, page 5, page 6, page 7, page 8, page 9, page 10, page 11, page 12, page 13 of 14. 
Page effect broad creature games heading creatures such as play restart button upgrade button share button app switcher Clo activate default creatures such as we creatures such as play restart play button play home back bot creature come back in a few minutes to play the next part of creatures such as exclamation mark heading not found closed screen recording in progress button 